the matchups for tonight's game. Western Kentucky and Alabama Birmingham in first round at Mideast Regional Action NCAA Tournament. Alabama Birmingham officially the home team dressed in the home white uniforms trimmed in green and gold. Western in the road red trimmed in black and white. Tony Wilson 6-7 will jump for Western Kentucky and he'll jump it up against Spear, 6-8 of Alabama Birmingham. Western controls McCormick, had to pass behind him, couldn't handle it. Blazers off with the turnover. Here's a shot outside, up and good by Oliver Robinson. Oliver Robinson, 6-4 junior, averaging 15 a game, gets the first basket of the contest. UAB and, on top. And a good pass by Glenn Marcus that time. He handled the break well, looked up, kept his head up, and that's the way you run a fast break. Here's the Western offense now. McCormick in the lane, little jump shot is good. Craig McCormick, he hits for 14 a game, and he has Western's first points. Seems like we've got a trend set tonight. It's going to be up and down the floor in this one, too. Both clubs coming out blazing and gunning. Game tied 2-2. We played less than a minute. Robinson on the post. Shot up, and good by Chris Giles. Giles has his first points. Neither team has missed a shot so far. Birmingham leading Western Kentucky 4-2. Looks like Marcus wants to give Jones a little bit of trouble up front. He's getting him at half court, taking him down inside. This time the Blazers go to a man-to-man. -man. Tony Wilson handles the ball for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky to Reese. Pass goes into White. White in trouble. It's called for an offensive foul. Percy White trying to pull his way inside, commits the first personal foul of the game. Percy White has a reputation of being very strong. Let's watch him again. A poor shooter, but very strong. That time he got inside, tried to use his strength. He got a charging foul. Another turnover for Western Kentucky. Gives the ball to Alabama Birmingham. The Blazers lead 4-2. And Jones just saying, all right, Marcus, you're going to pick me up. I'll get you at half court. Oliver Robinson with the ball at long range. On a high post to Giles. Looking inside, can't find anyone posting up to Marcus and back to Giles. Robinson takes the shot outside. No good on the rebound. Western Kentucky pulled down by Bobby Jones. Here's Jones in the front court, picked up by Marcus defensively. Falls down a foul. Called against Alabama Birmingham. And it's on Marcus. Jones was trying to get by down the sideline. He couldn't do it because Marcus had him squeezed off. And he simply tripped him. Let's watch it right here. The feet get tangled. Jones loses the ball almost right there. And there's the trip. First foul against the Blazers. Glenn Marcus being whistled for the personal. Glenn Haskins there in your screen. A green with a call. 4-2 Alabama Birmingham. Western has the ball. UAB setting up zone defense. Almost a steal by Robinson and off the Western man out of bounds to the Blazers. Good defense. I'll tell you, you won't find two quicker guards than Robinson and Marcus. They're very, very quick. This is Marcus with a basketball here into front court. Alabama Birmingham leading by two. A chance to add to that lead this time down court. Oliver Robinson looks inside, cross courts it instead to Marcus. Robinson in heavy traffic. Marcus in the lane, feeds back to Robinson, jumper away, no good, first miss by Alabama Birmingham, Jones with a rebound for Western Kentucky, Hilltoppers in front court, Jones against Marcus. Tony Wilson, Jones comes back to get it, McCormick comes out of the pivot to take the pass, and now over to Wilson. Good ball movement by the Hilltoppers right now, they're trying to find the opening. Walking caught against Tony Wilson of Western Kentucky. That turns it over to UAB. Western a little sloppy here offensively in the early going. They've committed several turnovers. Tom, you've got to attribute that, I would imagine, to a little bit of nervousness. They're away from home. They're down here. And probably a slightly larger crowd here for the Blazers than there is for the Hilltoppers. 17 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Alabama, Birmingham leading Western Kentucky by two. Almost a steal. The Giles controls for the Blazers. Only in their third year of basketball under Gene Bartow. Nice move inside. Lane goes for the hoop. He's fouled by Tony Wilson. Wilson of Western Kentucky with his first personal two against the Hilltoppers. That's Wilson number 33. Tony Wilson up in the air that time. It was a nice block, but a lot of body. Let's watch it one more time. Watch Wilson come into the screen right here. Got him on the arm. The head Craig Lane wide open underneath. Lane couldn't get the basket, but did draw the foul. Lane played at Lawson State. Junior College in Birmingham was a Junior College All-American. We'll have one more free throw. Looking for his first points of the game. That's indicative of the way he has shot free throws this year. He's only shooting 54% right now. Alabama Birmingham players wearing the green ribbon on the left shoulder of their jersey. Commemorating the sympathy with the deaths of the children in Atlanta. 
good movement right now. Marcus out on top of Gildy. Alabama Birmingham leads Western Kentucky 5-2. Helltoppers have gotten a field goal from McCormick. That's all offensively so far in the first half. Here's an errant pass saved by Lane. Blazers come up with another Western turnover. Western really having trouble handling the basketball. What's the defense from the Hilltoppers? Looks like some sort of a 2 one 2 They got McCormick kind of floating in the middle, and they rotate White and Reese inside. Good ball movement by the Blazers. Lane in close. Ball for traveling. No basket. Walking call against Craig Lane of Alabama Birmingham. To this point, the Blazers are having no problem whatsoever penetrating the zone defense that the Hilltoppers have given them. They find all kinds of openings down the lane, on both sides, and also the baseline. Western Kentucky fans trying to rally their team. Still have not gotten much going offensively. McCormick, who has the ball here, scored the first time down court. Since then, they've been shut out and played by turnovers. Shot is good from outside. That time it was Reese, Mike Reese, with his first basket, the 6'3 senior. UAB doing a good job defensively. They're switching defenses, and right now with the turnovers the way they are, as you see on the screen, Western Kentucky with five and UAB with one, you, it's indicative of the way they're playing defense. We have 16 minutes left in the first half. Western has already turned it over five times. Robinson outside. Wilson clears the rebound for Western Kentucky. Here come the Hilltoppers. Kevin Dildy in the game for Western. Gives to Tony Wilson. 15-footer. No good. Nothing but white shirts in there for the rebound. Pulled off by Alabama Birmingham. Robinson gives it up to Marcus. Marcus looking inside, gets it on a high post to Giles. They go over to Spear. Back out front, Marcus, and around the horn. Birmingham leading by one, 5-4, 15 and a half minutes left in the first half. The patience uh, showing right now by UAB. They're looking to find that opening again in the Hilltopper zone. Giles forced one up, but hit it. And they found the opening again. It was Giles 12 feet out on the free throw line. Chris Giles with four points. The Birmingham lead back at three, seven to four. Dildy handling the ball for Western Kentucky. Calls his play. The Hilltoppers set it up. They have White on a high post setting a pick as the guards break by. Western Kentucky's gone into their man-to-man -man offense. There they freed somebody. McCormick wide open. Missed the shot underneath. Rebound out of Alabama Birmingham. Got a good shot. Couldn't get it to go. Here's a foul on Dildy of Western Kentucky. First foul on Kevin Dildy, and the third foul against the Hilltoppers. That's Coach Clem Haskins, All-American at Western Kentucky. In his first year, and named Rookie Coach of the Year by the NBC telecast crew. We have a timeout on the court. The score, Alabama-Birmingham, 7, Western Kentucky, 4. That's the now in the Mideast Regional in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Let's head back to Larry Connolly and Tom Hamden. They are getting ready to bring us the play-by-play -play again of Alabama, Birmingham, and Western Kentucky. Alabama, Birmingham with the basketball leading 7-4 with 14.46 remaining. Blazers will attack Western Kentucky zone. And Western Kentucky zone pretty well packed. They've got it jammed in pretty good into the painted area in there. UAB is trying to find an opening. I don't think they're going to be able to find it if it's going to be that tight. They may have to depend on that outside shot. Alabama, Birmingham. Robinson puts it up and draws the foul. He's fouled by Western Kentucky's Kenny Ellis. Ellis just came into the game at the timeout. He's a 6'4 junior from Winter Haven, Florida, averaging six a game. So Kenny Ellis quickly picks up his first foul, and that's four this half against Western Kentucky. Oliver Robinson at the line for Alabama Birmingham. Happy birthday, Oliver Robinson. Friday the 13th, he's 21 years old today. You know, an interesting thing about Oliver Robinson, too, is the fact that he was the first player that Gene Bartow signed when he came to UAB. That's the Mideast Regional in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Let's head back to Texas, El Paso. 35 seconds to Larry Conley and Tom Hammond for Alabama, Birmingham, and Western Kentucky. Miles doesn't shoot. Lane inside for Alabama, Birmingham. That was Craig Lane with a basket. We're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Tom Hammond and Larry Conley for the Blazers of Alabama, Birmingham have taken a big early lead on Western Kentucky. 13 minutes, 25 seconds now remaining in the first half. 11 to 4, you saw the score. Western Kentucky plagued by turnovers. The Alabama Birmingham defense has really kept them out of their offense. That's Reese outside for Western Kentucky missing, but being fouled by Oliver Robinson of UAB. 
even when Western Kentucky has an opportunity for a good shot, they've always got somebody in their face. And that time, Oliver Robinson, the youngster from Birmingham, Alabama, was right in the face of Reese. Mike Reese, fouled in the act of shooting, will step to the line. 6'3", senior from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, averaging 11 a game. Reese, the only senior starter on the Western Kentucky team. There are only two on the squad. He's the only senior starter, co-captain. Leads the team in steals. Missed the free throw. As a high school player in Kentucky, he was on the All-State Tournament team. Played for Christian County High School. They were the runner-up when he was a junior. We'll have one more free throw. Gets it to roll in for his third point. And the Mideast Regional, Alabama-Birmingham against Western Joe, Kentucky. Larry Conley and Tom Hammond set to do the play-by-play -play for us. This is first half action from Tuscaloosa. And a whistle inside. Offensive foul against Western. Foul called against Western Kentucky's Kenny Ellis, his second. With 11 minutes, 37 seconds remaining in the first half, Alabama-Birmingham taking a 13-7 lead over Western Kentucky. Big feature of the game so far, the UAB defense. The Blazers have played outstanding defense. Their coach, Gene Bartow, standing up at his bench. His Blazers with the basketball and the lead. He's got to please with it. He's got to be awfully pleased with what he has seen up to this point anyway. They've done a good job. 13-7, Alabama burst in the first half of play. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the winner, earns the right to play the second seed in the Mideast region, the University of Kentucky. Good ball movement by Western Kentucky right now. They've got it going, and here's Ellis. Outside, Ellis misses. Rebound, Birmingham. Blazers controlling the defensive board. On the point of the offense is Marcus of Alabama Birmingham to Lane. Bounces into Spears. Spears, turnaround jumper right there. An easy one, and I think a missed assignment. It might be time for a Western Kentucky timeout to talk about this. All five UAB starters have scored, and Western will take a timeout to regroup. Timeout on the court. The score, Alabama, Birmingham, 16. Western Kentucky, 7. here during the timeout. It's been a great night for the Alabama Birmingham fans so far. Their Blazers leading 16 to 7. 10 minutes 34 seconds remaining in the first half. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers represented here as well by a good cheerleading squad. Tom, I want to take the opportunity to mention uh, two assistant coaches Gene Bartow has. One is Lee Hunt, who's been with Gene since 1970. Been with him at three different schools. He has another assistant coach, Oscar Catlin, who as a head coach won 539 games. Here's another Western turnover. Reese just lost it right into the hands of Oliver Robinson. Robinson in front court for the Blazers. It has not been a good night for Western Kentucky, the Ohio Valley Conference champions. Western's come out in a man-to-man -man defense. They're going to try to do it plain tough, hard-nosed, fight through the screen, but they've got a foul. Foul called on McCormick of Western Kentucky. No, it's not. It's on Percy White. Percy White, number 50, commits his second personal foul. This telecast is presented by authority of the NCAA, and use of this program without written consent is prohibited. The announcers for this program have been approved and contracted by NCAA Productions. We don't want to overplay this, but you've got to really compliment the University of Alabama at Birmingham's defense. They have played outstanding defense here in the first 10 minutes of this first half. Craig Lane at the free throw line, now with five points in the contest. Played in every game for UAB this year. Quincy, Florida, junior, six foot six. Eighteen to seven is the score. Alabama Birmingham leading it. Western Kentucky needing to get something going offensively. Tony Wilson inside. Oh, yes, it move. counts. And he's fouled. Good power move by Tony Wilson, his first basket. Tony Wilson needed that. The Hilltoppers needed it desperately. They need to get on track. They're stagnant on offense. Nice pass by McCormick inside. Wilson really made a nice play here. He kind of hung in the air, protected the ball with his body, got up and got the basket, has a chance for a three-point play. Tony Wilson, 6'7", sophomore, has made three all-tournament teams this season, averaging 14 a game, 68% free throw shooter. Good touch. Three-point trip for Tony Wilson. That helps the Western cause. Substitution for UAB. Spear goes out, replaced in the lineup by Norman Ankrum, 6'10", 220-pound junior from Birmingham. Ankrum averaging six points and four rebounds a game. He played here at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. In fact, was a starter for them briefly. He's a journeyman. He is in his fourth school at his fourth school. Marcus hits for UAB. The 
if there's a key ingredient to having a good basketball team, it's having a good point guard, one that can handle the basketball. When you get the addition of being a good shooter, you got a great one. And that's Marcus. Here's Wilson again going for the basket. Wilson has taken it upon himself now to start moving to the hoop. And Ankrum commits the foul. Ankrum was a player at the University of Alabama. He's also played at Tennessee, Chattanooga, Wright State, and now at Alabama, Birmingham. He is definitely a journeyman. Keeps his suitcase packed. Here's Tony Wilson. Made a free throw a while ago. His only trip to the line. That's his average. Actually, I have him averaging about 14 points a game. Maybe Western Kentucky strategy right now. The last two times down the floor, they've gone to Tony Wilson low on the block. They may be trying to get him loose or free him inside for some good, strong power moves, which he's very capable of doing. Got them both. Wilson now with five points in the game. He pulls the Hilltoppers with an eight. Full court pressure doesn't succeed. Here comes Robinson. Passes it off to Anka. Missed the layup. Rebound, Jones of Western Kentucky. Here come the Hilltoppers on the run. Jones quickly in front court. Bounce pass to Wilson. Cross courts it. Shot by Reese. No, feeds it inside. Good feed to White. Blocked from behind by Ankrum. Out of bounds to Birmingham. That was a nice effort that time by Oliver Robinson. He got in Reese's face before he had a chance to really get off a good shot. And it forced the pass inside, which forced the turnover. Then Ankrum came up with a block, even though he was out positioned. The Blazers have the turnover. The Western Kentucky fans don't like it. Thought he was fouled. Western Burm Kentucky kind of using an adjust, what I call an adjustable zone defense. They're moving their people around inside, outside. Sometimes you lose your responsibility or your assignment when you're playing this kind of zone defense. It kind of floats between a man to man and a zone. 16 footer, Oliver Robinson. And that's what happens when you lose your assignment. Oliver Robinson. Six points for Robinson. 22 12. Again, a 10 point lead for UAB. 8.45 showing on the clock, first half. We've got to say anything. The compliments have got to go to the UAB defense. They've just played really super here in the first part of the first half. Good head fake by McCormick. Got a couple of players off the floor and drew the foul. Foul is on Norman Ankrum, and that's quickly his second personal foul. And seven this half against UAB. And Clem Haskins getting ready to send another player into the lineup right now. That's Gary Carver who's getting ready to report. Carver, 6'6", 200-pound freshman from Clifty, Kentucky, averaging a couple points a game. Craig McCormick at the line for Western Kentucky. 6'10", 220-pound junior from Ottawa, Illinois. All OVC, two straight years. He scored 930 points in his career through his almost junior year at Western Kentucky. Final score in NCAA play in overtime. Pitt defeating Idaho, 70-69. to McCormick misses the free throw, but rebounded by Western. Carver goes up. Carver, who just came into the game, makes his presence known in a hurry. Good offensive board, his first field goal. Tom, he's the designated shooter and rebounder. They put him in to get a basket, then they take him out. Eight-point UAB lead with 8.23 showing. Marcus attacking, gives it off to Giles. Giles backs in against Tony Wilson. Western Kentucky a lot more aggressive on defense. Look how far they're coming out to pick up. Nicholas into the game for Alabama Birmingham is fouled by Western Kentucky. The foul is on Reese. Mike Reese with his first personal. You don't like to commit fouls, but obviously Western Kentucky needs to do something to get untracked here in the first half. They're down by eight, and we've got just slightly over eight minutes to play. And here's the foul by McCormick. Good move inside that time by number 14, Nichols. As he moves to the baseline, McCormick gets the foul. Coming in for Western Kentucky is Kenny Ellis, 6'4", junior. Played briefly as you look at Jonah Nicholas, 6'3", 175-pound junior from Brooklyn, New York, averaging seven points a game. Good free throw shooter, 80% free throw shooter. Played at Mesa Junior College in San Diego, California. His first point, 11 out of the free throw. He, in fact, is the leading free throw shooter in the Sun Belt Conference with that 80% average. Hit the concentration. Demonstration of why he hits 8 out of 10. 24-14, again a 10-point bulge for the Blazers of Alabama-Birmingham. Western Kentucky calling play number three. Jones feeds right side to Reese, takes it back. And you can see the UAB zone really packed in tight. Ellis, it went down. Bounced it up and then back through. That one hit every piece of the iron up there. It got on both sides, went up and came through. 
Western Kentucky offense has been better the last few times down court. 24-16 the count. Alabama nice Birmingham in command. Nicholas has his shot blocked by Reese. Taken down by Carver. Carver gives it up to Jones. Jones in front court quickly. Still on the move. Now pulls up. Alabama Birmingham getting back well on defense. Reese gives it over. Round the horn. They move it. Carver to Jones. Back again to Carver. He and Jones playing catch. And here's a walking call on Bobby Jones. Costly turnover. It's really been a nemesis for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers of these turnovers that UAB is creating. Western Kentucky can ill afford to keep up these turnovers or they're going to get blown out of this game. 24-16 the count. UAB with a basketball. 7-14 first half. That's the turnover situation. You see one of the big factors in the game. Ten for Western, only one for UAB. Shot missed by Ankrum and a foul on the rebound. It'll be whistled against Western Kentucky. Looks like Ellis. No basket. And it will be on Perth. Called it on Carver, is that right? Gary Carver with his first personal foul. Gary Carver with his first personal foul. And Tony Wilson will come back in for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. All right, now the referee changes his mind and says the foul is on Kenny Ellis and not Carver. And for Ellis, that is personal number three, first player in foul trouble in the game. Coach Gene Barto looking over as Giles steps to the free throw line. I know the official agreed with me on that. I thought it was Ellis. Giles on the all Sun Belt tournament team, second team all conference, one of the most consistent players on the team, second in scoring, number one in rebounding. He's played more minutes than any other Blazer this season. He hits the two free throws. Gene Bartow calling his defense. It's been outstanding so far in the first half with just over seven minutes remaining. Blazers up by 10. They've led the entire way. 11's been their longest. Western Kentucky has to get some creativity into this offense. They've got to start doing some things. They're going to get it down low to McCormick with his head fake. He is called. No, foul. Pushing foul. UAB people thought he maybe traveled with that head fake, but he draws the foul. Maybe that's what they need to do. They need to get the ball inside to the big guy McCormick. Let's watch it again. Jones to McCormick. McCormick starts to make his move. They say Ankrum pushed just before he went up for the shot. Ankrum in foul trouble now with three. He goes out and is replaced by Donnie Spear. That was a pretty tough call. I didn't think he had much hand, any hands on him that time, but uh, I don't call the game. I sit here and watch. Craig McCormick will shoot one plus one for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Leading scorer and rebounder for Western for the second straight year. Can't get the free throw, however. Alabama Birmingham pulls it off. Western needs to hit those free throws. They trail by 10. And the Blazers of UAB have the basketball. Western Kentucky back into a man-to-man -man defense this time. Spear shoots over McCormick. No good. Rebound. Wilson of Western Kentucky. And he's fouled. He was pushed by Leon Morris of UAB. Morris is 6'6", 180-pound senior. Here it is again. Let's watch the miss. On this side, Spear puts it up. Hits this side of the rim. Goes to the other side. You saw the battle underneath on the boards that time. Wilson got the good position. And that time, 33, Leon Morris of UAB pushed. Morris, a native of Memphis, Tennessee, averaging four points a game. Meanwhile, at the free throw line, Tony Wilson. Wilson, an all-state performer as a high school senior, missed the free throw. He had hit three in a row before that. Turnovers and, and missed free throws are really hurting Western Kentucky. And they trail by 10. Here's a shot off the front of the rim, bounds around two or three times, and finally goes down to Chris Giles. Giles now with eight points in the game. UAB's lead at 12, their longest. There's a good pass by Wilson to McCormick and a stuff. McCormick stuffs it, and are we going to have a technical foul for grabbing the rim? Yes, technical foul. Assess Craig McCormick for grabbing onto the rim after his dunk. Here's the grab right here. He got it in, and he grabbed it and held on. Surprised more of that's not called. Well, you could call it a lot more than it is called. In the, in the opinion of the officials, it must be fairly flagrant for it to be called. You see Clem Haskins, National Rookie Coach of the Year, in his first year with the Hilltoppers after being an assistant at WKU, All-American player with Western. He is the only player in Ohio Valley Conference history to win the most valuable player honor three consecutive years. 
Nicholas with the free throw for UAB, giving the Blazers 29-18 lead. 6-11 remaining in the first half. You know, to continue with your thought about Clem Haskins, he did something one time in the OVC that hasn't been matched. He scored 55 points in a game. Outstanding player. Went on to play nine years in the NBA. From a good family, had a brother that played at the University of Kentucky, has a daughter that is one of the top high school as you have noticed, we're having some difficulties uh, getting the video signal out of Tuscaloosa. We'll, we will rejoin that game in just a few moments as soon as we have those problems cleared up. How'd you like to drop 30 pounds over the summer and still weigh 235 when you report to practice? And they say he's the strongest player on the team. I believe it. White with a second free throw. He could cut the Alabama-Birmingham lead to seven. Eyes the basket, sends it on its way. Way off, no good, missed everything. Out of bounds on the side, the UAB. And that's the reason he's shooting 65% from the line. Well, we have a timeout called here in Tuscaloosa. Timeout on the court. The score, Alabama, Birmingham, 29, Western Kentucky, 21. With four minutes, 44 seconds left, you see Gene Bartow. His Blazers lead Western Kentucky 29-21, but the Hilltoppers have been on the move lately. They've got a bit of a rally going, Larry. Yes, they have, and they've done it simply by going inside with the basketball. They've gotten the ball where they want it, and UAB has not responded defensively. I wonder if Gene Bartow in that huddle that time was telling his players to make some sort of adjustment to that basketball that's going inside. Blazers have the ball, and they'll face the full court pressure from Western Kentucky. Giles throws it in with no problem to Craig Lane, and now they collapse on him. Here's an errant pass. Wilson picks it off for Western Kentucky. Here comes Tony Wilson. Moves to the hoop. Good nice move. move. He got it. Right between three UAB players. Super move. Great body control by Tony Wilson of Western. Here's a foul quickly on Percy White of the Hilltoppers. That's the third foul on White. The strategy to beating a good press. When the ball comes through the net, is get the ball in from out of bounds as quickly as possible. But let's watch Tony Wilson prior to that foul. Here's a good move. Good floating move. Went right by the UAB player that time, Chris Giles. Tony Wilson threading his way through traffic for his seventh point of the game. We'll come to the Alabama Birmingham free throw line now. You see number 34, Glenn Marcus, the 5'10 senior, making his first appearance at the line. The value of a good point guard is always present particularly when you've got a press to beat. Miss the free throw. McCormick rebound Western Kentucky. Bill Toppers trail by only six. They've cut the lead in half. Now a chance to trim it even further. UAB did make a change. They went away from that man-to-man -man defense. They've gone to what looks like a 1-2-2 two -two or a 2-3 two zone. Almost a steal. Dildy penetrates. Pulls up with a jumper. In and out. No good. On the rebound. Alabama-Birmingham. Robinson saves it. Gives it up to Marcus. Into front court. Blazers with the ball, just over four minutes remaining. They lead by six. Oliver Robinson, long range for UAB. Looking over the western zone. Pretty good idea once in a while to pull out and take a look at the zone. What kind of zone are you attacking? What kind of offense are you going to use against that type of zone? And you got a guy like Giles or Robinson or Marcus who can stand there and look at one like that, then decide which offensive strategy they want to use. Being very patient right now are the Blazers. Clock in their favor with three and a half minutes left, and they lead by six. Robinson committed himself and was lucky to get rid of it. Here's a jump ball. Good defense that time from the blind side by Kevin Dildy. Got Oftentimes, a hand on top of the ball. Oftentimes you get a block from the front, but very rare from the rear. We've got a block from the rear. Watch and it again. There was the pass. Reese went right back at Robinson to make the pass. There's the block from the rear right there. Giles will jump against Dildy. Dildy controls it, but Alabama-Birmingham takes it, and Robinson pans the jumper. Oliver Robinson right off of the jump ball. Just got it and went straight up. Eight points for Oliver Robinson. 31-23, first basket for UAB in quite some time. Dildy looks over the laser defense, gives it to Tony Wilson. Looks inside, get it along the baseline to Rick Gray, who's back in the game for the Hilltoppers. This is Ray's shot. No good. Rebound. Strong rebound by Giles. And he's fouled. The foul will be on Western Kentucky. Mike Reese. Second foul on Reese. Will walk to the Alabama-Birmingham free throw line. As you see the missed shot by Ray. And the foul against Western Kentucky. Reese on the blind side. Tony Wilson might have got it as well. 
Chris Giles steps to the free throw line. So far tonight, he's three of four with number five coming up. Chris Giles really is a complete player for this club. He's averaging almost 12 points a game and seven rebounds. He shoots 71% from the free throw line and almost 50% from the field goal line. He's an outstanding player. Well, you see an elbowing foul called against Alabama Birmingham's Donnie Spear. Spear trying for possession on the free throw lane is called for throwing the elbow. And so we'll go down to the western end for some free throws. And this is in Western's favor. They can score some points without the clock running as you see Clem Haskins giving some instructions to his Hilltoppers. And Spear comes out. Spear comes out and is replaced by Tim Almquist. Tom Hammond and Larry Conley in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where the Blazers of Alabama Birmingham are leading Western Kentucky by 10, 33-23. Rick Ray at the free throw line for Western Kentucky. Alabama Birmingham has led throughout by as many as 12 points. Western had a brief rally going a couple of moments ago, but the lead has been back out to 10 and now cut to nine on the Ray free throw. This game in the first half has been heavily favored toward UAB. They played outstanding defense at times in the first half and created a lot of turnovers against the Hilltoppers. Through the first 10 minutes of the game, the UAB defense was awesome. Western turned the ball over 10 times, and UAB really taking them out of their offense. Got a little better since then, but the Hilltoppers still trail by eight. Two minutes, 40 seconds showing on the clock first half, and good defense this time by Western. Traveling call. Good pressure that time by Western Kentucky. They came out and put applied the pressure on the ball. They cut off the passing lanes, and they were giving good help away from the ball. Craig Lane called for steps. Yeah, that's what happened to cause him to trip. That's a good defense. 33-25, <laughs> the score. Western trying to trim a couple off it here with two and a half minutes showing. They look over the UAB zone, and they get in the teeth of it. Shot up and no good by a man who just came in, Ken Hatcher, and on the ensuing rebound, a foul on Hatcher, chasing after his missed shot. How many times do you see it? You put the ball up, you miss it, you go for the rebound, you commit the foul. Let's watch it right here. Hatcher does it. Karam's off the back of the rim. He goes after his own shot, and he fouls number 20, Oliver Robinson. Went right over his back. Ken Hatcher, a 6'5 freshman from Campbellsville, Kentucky, making his first appearance in the Hilltopper lineup and getting personal number one. Oliver Robinson, 21 years old today, two for two at the line. As you see, a runner-up in the voting for Sun Belt Player of the Year. He is the original Blazer, first player signed by Gene Bartow. UAB program only three years old. Went to the NIT last year, NCAA this year. Sunbelt Conference has already had one winner tonight. Virginia Commonwealth has advanced. They beat Long Island University earlier in the evening. Robinson now with 10 points in the game, and UAB back out by 10, 35-25. Clock on the move, it shows 215. Dildy of the Hilltoppers passing to Tony Wilson. Western being very patient. They have not been able to get any sort of transition game, any fast break off Alabama Birmingham tonight. And more times than not on the half court, they've been stymied by the UAB defense as well. Cross court pass, can't do that. Lane picked it off. Here goes Lane in against Reese. To the hoop, Lane up and in. Good body control that time by Craig Lane. He had a chance to get a charging foul. He slowed up, kind of moved and slid, slid in toward the free throw line. Took it in, got an easy basket. Smart play. Just when it appeared that Western Kentucky was rallying, the UAB lead back out to 12, equaling their longest. And again, it was a Western Kentucky turnover that caused the basket. Here's Reese open in the lane. His jumper no good off the back of the rim. Strong rebound by Craig Lane. Wiped the board clean. Passes it up to Marcus in the front court with a minute 23 remaining first half. And Gene Bartos up off the bench yelling for one shot. He wants his four corners on offense. He's going to sit on it, get the last shot of the first half. That's Marcus. As you see, the instructions from Coach Barto, one of only two active coaches to take two different teams to the NCAA Final Four. The other, also a Sun Belt Conference coach, Lee Rose of South Florida. Ben Haskins on the Western bench. It has not been a first half of note for his Hilltoppers. Pretty good idea right here if you're on defense to go ahead and gamble somewhat without trying to foul because you know they're not going to go for the layup. You've always got your safety valve back there. You've got McCormick and Wilson back deep in the hole. They tried to double team the ball that time, but it didn't pay off. Clock now down to 35 seconds. Blazers for the last shot. Lane 
Comes back out. Marcus almost picked off, and there's a foul on Reese. Reese went for the steal, committed himself, and couldn't stop. That was a little baby tap. I don't think that was a serious foul, but uh, it was enough of a foul that the referee felt like he had to call. Clem Haskins up and giving instructions to his basketball team. You see on his lapel the symbolic red towel of Western, made famous by Uncle Ed Diddle, who founded this great basketball tradition in Western Kentucky. Ed Diddle made the red towel his trademark, had it on him beside him at the bench at all times, waved it, chewed on it, did everything with it, and now the red towel has become the Western Kentucky symbol. You know, they've been playing basketball in Western Kentucky since 1914, Tom. They've won over 1,076 games. Marcus connects at the free throw line for UAB. Western Kentucky is number one in the nation in average wins per season. They have won 17.3 games per season on the average. Number four in winning percentage is 70%, and number 11 in all-time wins. The Hilltoppers have won 1,055 games. But right now, they're in desperate trouble in Tuscaloosa. They trail by 14 with only 20 seconds left in the first half. Looks like Western may be content to uh, get the last shot of the first half. I don't know if that's a good idea when you're 14 points down. You want to try to get it up as often as you can. Only eight seconds now remaining. I don't know if Dildy sees the clock or not. Now five to Reese. Reese puts it up way out. No good. On the floor as the first half ends. They didn't get a good shot in the final seconds of the first half. And the first 20 minutes of action comes to an end. Timeout. After the first half of play with the score, Alabama-Birmingham 39, Western Kentucky 25. With our halftime show. The 1981 NCAA Basketball Championship from Memorial Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The second half of the game matching the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and the Alabama Birmingham Blazers. This portion of the National Collegiate Basketball Championship on ESPN is brought to you by Hilton Hotels Corporation. When American business hits the road, American business stops at Hilton, America's business address. And by Michelin the company that introduced the radial tire to America. Let's check some statistics here at halftime. Field goal percentage, Western Kentucky shooting 47.3 on 9 of 19. Alabama Birmingham 11 of 21 for a nice 52-3. Free throw, 7 of 13, Western Kentucky, 53%. It's hurt him a lot in the first half. 85% for UAB, 17 of 20. Tom Hammond with the second half. Thank you, Larry Conley. Alabama Birmingham controlling the second half tap. Blazers lead 39-25. Alabama Birmingham completely taking Western out of its offense in the first half, especially the inside game. Spear had his shot blocked. Here comes Western. Reese will take it all the way to the basket and score. Rolled around, but dropped for Mike Reese. First basket of the second half. That may be the break Western Kentucky needs to get back in this basketball game. They're still down by 12, but they had to come out of the gate, and they had to come out fast. Here's the Blazers' attack. Let's see if they lost any momentum at halftime. Western man-to-man -man defensively. I think that's what they're going to have to do. They've got to get aggressive. They've got to come after the basketball. They've got to come after UAB. Robinson, Oliver Robinson scores. Jump shot in the lane. He now has 12 points in the contest. UAB's going to open up in his own defense. 2-3. They're going to sit back, make Western Kentucky come in and attack their zone. Jones at long range for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. Back to Tony Wilson. He's open for the jump shot. Sends it on its way off the glass. Rolled around, but fell through. Shot starting to fall for Western now. They are, and they've gotten two for two here in the beginning of the second half. Nine points for Tony Wilson. 41-29, Alabama-Birmingham leading. Shot by Robinson again. This time no good, but the rebound UAB. Giles follows, can't get it. Rebound, Western Kentucky. Here comes Reese. He's one on four behind the back dribble against Robinson. Pulls up and waits for some help. Jones gets it to White, top of the key. Tony Wilson looking inside for McCormick. The defense has him pretty well bottled up. They have not been able to get inside too often in the basketball game. Western Kentucky, when they have, they've scored. I think Clem Haskins would like to see his Hilltoppers get the ball in there, but it's going to be very difficult if UAB's going to stay back in as tight as they are. Almost an interception. Tony Wilson in heavy traffic. Basket goes in. We'll see if it counts. Yes, it counts, and he's fouled. That's a big basket for Wilson and the Hilltoppers. He made a nice move against a very, very tight zone defense. Let's watch it. 
Tony Wilson right here. Glided between two players. They got him on the arm. He continued through, got a continuation play, got the arm grabbed, and got the basket. Glenn Marcus has his second foul at the first foul of the second half. Coach Clem Haskins of Western instructing his guard, Bobby Jones. Tony Wilson at the free throw line, shooting for point number 12. Shot on its way and good. Three point trip by Tony Wilson. Maybe, Tom, and maybe the Hilltoppers can come back. 41 32, nine point edge for Alabama Birmingham. They led by as many as 14. Giles drives on Wilson. Wilson cuts him off. Good defense by Wester. Marcus looking inside. They get it to Spear. Fakes McCormick. Shoots over him and hits. Oh, yeah. Take a page out of the chapter of Western Kentucky. Go inside. Spear got the basketball right on the block. Turn around and put it in. Point number four for Spear. Western Kentucky with the basketball down 43-32. Try to feed it in the lane to Wilson. Picked off by UAB. Robinson triggers the fast break to Marcus. Wide open layup is good. That was a bad pass by Reese. Marcus and Robinson handled the break just the way you should. You've got a two-on-one. Keep the guy who's on defense back there in the cat hole. Make him work. And he did. He took it all the way and forced the play. In the first half, Western trailed as many as 12 at one point. Suddenly cut the lead in half to six before UAB went back out again. Let's see if that happens this time. Reese misses outside. Wilson taps once, twice. No good. Foul on the rebounding underneath. It'll be on Spear of UAB, his third. Second Blazer with as many as three, and both on the big men. Ankrum, 6'10", has three fouls on the bench, and Spear just picked up number three. Ankrum comes in to replace him. That's Spear who'll take a seat. Tony Wilson just gave a Herculean effort in, in that rebound right then because he got inside among three people, kept tipping, kept tipping. He got the foul, and then Western Kentucky's going to get the ball. Tony Wilson played on the state championship team at Lexington Lafayette High School in Kentucky. A teammate on that team of Dirk Minifields, a starter for the University of Kentucky, and Junior Johnson, a starter for the University of Cincinnati. Quite a talented quintet. McCormick looks inside. White was trying to post up, but instead came out to a high post situation about the free throw line. Look how deep, but uh, UAB's got those guards back inside. They're both inside the free throw line. Western Kentucky's going to have to open that zone up with some good outside jump shooting. McCormick double pump shot was no good on the rebound. Ankrum of West of Alabama Birmingham gives it off to Marcus. His pass, pass. beautiful pass to Lane. Missed the layup. Lane went wide open, missed it. Here comes Western. See if they can convert here. Lob pass to Wilson. One on one move. Missed it. Battle for the rebound. And we're going to have a foul. Foul will be on Oliver Robinson of UAB. Good action that time. Oliver Robinson got there a little bit late just as Reese made the turn. Here's a replay. Watch Wilson make his move here. Good turn. Good pivot. It was a nice block inside that time. It looked like Norman Anchor got a piece of the basketball, and Robinson is the one that committed the foul. Substitutions coming in. Nicholas is in replacing Robinson in the Alabama Birmingham lineup. They have Lane, Ankrum, Marcus, Giles, and Nicholas in the game at the moment. Western Kentucky gets a sub in. Ken Hatcher, 6'5", freshman, played in the first half, failed to score. Wilson misses the shot, tries to tie up Marcus. Can't do it. Here comes Marcus, gets right by Jones. Here's Marcus with a great quickness all the way to the baseline. Pulls up with a jumper and scores. Great individual effort. He did it all. Glenn Marcus. Good effort that time. Marcus went down, as you said, Tommy. He just did it every bit of it by himself. Out sprinted the defensive man and scored. McCormick misses from in close. Got it inside that time, but couldn't score. Marcus has a little trouble handling it. Gets an assist from Giles and takes it back now into front court. 47-32, 15-point lead for the Blazers of UAB. Shot is blocked by Tony Wilson. Lane gets it back, though. Feeds off to Ankrum. He goes to the basket. McCormick blocked it. Rebound Western Kentucky. Rough under there. And here is a traveling call against Western. I don't think I've ever seen a blocked shot, and the guy who got it blocked caught it while it was laying on his back. And that's exactly what happened to Craig Lane. Fast and furious action under each basket. Here's the one. There's the block. The block came down, and Lane was on his back. There's Lane just getting up. And another block by McCormick. All for naught, though. Western turned it over on the walking call. Here's a foul. It's going to be called against Western Kentucky against Lane. Or Jones, I should say. Bobby Jones. Jones is number 15. First foul. And the first foul against Western in the second half. First 
UAB appears to have picked up right where they left off in the first half. I think their offensive production might be a little bit better than it was the first half. Certainly their defense could not be as good in the second half as it was in the first. They sit back in that zone. Marcus has the hot hand for UAB. Three field goals this half, now 12 points in the game. He's been the difference in the second half so far for UAB. He's come out smoking. Blazers threatening a blowout here. McCormick over to Reese. Reese looks inside. Can't find any room. Now penetrates. Blocked by Ankrum. Goes back to Tony Wilson of Western. He looks inside. Can't get it. Outside to Jones. Here's McCormick in the lane again. Fakes. Fires over Ankrum. No good. Tapped out. Rebound controlled by UAB. Ankrum chases it down. Hands it off to Marcus. Here comes Marcus on the run. Picked up by Jones to Nicholas. Tom, if UAB gets a basket here, it's about time for a timeout for Western Kentucky. I don't believe they can take this much more. Marcus off the lane, makes a move for the basket. It won't count. No basket. Foul before he got his shot away. Tony Wilson, number 33, commits his second personal foul. And two this half against the Hilltoppers. And before we get back to play, we're going to have a timeout. Timeout on the court. The score, Alabama-Birmingham, 49, Western Kentucky, 32. Shooting percentages, Alabama-Birmingham at 51.6, Western Kentucky 41.4. And with 14.26 remaining in the game, Western in a deep hole. They're down 49-32, 17. The Blazers have got the basketball. Western Kentucky in the full court press. They've got to create something here. They've been in the full court press most of the way, and they'll have to go back to it again. Here's Lane in heavy traffic in the lane in the uh, free throw lane, and he's called for traveling. Well, that time, Western defense sort of collapsed on him, and he committed a turnover. Western's got to start pressing defensively, wouldn't you say, Larry? And they've got to be more aggressive offensively. Well, when you get down as badly as they're down right now by 17, they've got to they've got to do something out of the ordinary. They've got to come out. They've got to press. Here's what they've got to do. They've White got missed to get a good end. shot, but it's followed up and in by Tony Wilson. Wilson has been the most effective player for the Hilltoppers in the second half. He has seven points this half. He scored all but two of the Hilltoppers' points in the second period. Here's a foul offensively against Nicholas of UAB. He pushed off. Good call by the official right in front of us. It was. It was an excellent call. Nicholas did push off. You'll see it right here. Watch the arm. Watch the forearm. Well, you didn't see it. It came from the other camera, so we didn't get to see the angle, but he pushed off. Nicholas pushed. It'll be Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers ball. He was shielded on the camera angle, but it did happen right in front of us. We had a good look at it. 49-34 the lead. Western Kentucky had a chance to chip two more off of it. You know, lots of times when you get in a situation like this, you don't want to get it back all at one time. You've got to, as you say, chip it away. Constantly keep coming. And that does not help at all. Walking call against Western. Kenny Ellis is called for traveling. The turnovers have really hurt Western. They just, they just have not been able to get on track. I, they haven't had a good flow during the basketball game at all. Here's a steal. Steal by Percy White, and he's immediately fouled by Ankrum. And Ankrum has his fourth personal. He'll come out of the game. He'll be replaced immediately by Leon Morris, 6'6 senior. Played in the first half, didn't score. Four fouls on Norman Ankrum, who checks out. Clem Haskins calls play number four for his Hilltoppers. Five team fouls against UAB in the second half. Western has committed only two. Tony Wilson in the lane. Missed the shot. And on the rebound, they tie Lane up. Lane lost his footing as he came down with the basketball, and they just reached in to tie him up. The one man you've got to give credit to here in the second half has been Tony Wilson. Wilson took the shot. He's also the man who got in and tied up in, inside this time. We now pause five seconds for station identification. This is ESPN, the Total Sports Network. Lane 6'6 six, six against Wilson 6'7. Six, Wilson controls the tap, so Western Kentucky gets another shot at it, trailing 49-34 with just over 13 minutes remaining. They've got Wilson in a high post position right now, which is where he needs to be. They've got to get him the basketball. He has it right now. Tony Wilson, double team, feeds it off to Dildy. Lob pass for White, moves to the hoop. His shot blocked. Morris, Morris rejected it. Yeah. Western gets it back, however. 
This will be the third drive for the Hilltoppers. This time down court. Cross court pass. You can't do that kind of pass against a defense like this. Robinson picks it off. Marcus fakes. Now he goes up and hits. Good move, and UAB is getting ready to make a route of this game. Western's got to get themselves on track. They've got to get into their offense. They've got to get the ball on the board, and they've got to do something on defense. Quick little Glenn Marcus has four field goals this half, 14 points for the game, and Alabama-Birmingham leads 51-34. Another cross-court pass, a dangerous pass, but it's converted by Hatcher. First basket for Ken Hatcher. That's the score. It's been all Alabama-Birmingham right from the opening tap. The good defense this time by Western. Good trap. Marcus gets away. Foul on Wilson. Wilson hacked him. Personal number three on Tony. Three fouls this half against the Hilltoppers. That's Tony Wilson, the 6'7 sophomore. You know, when you reach in your grab bag of coaching tricks, as I'm sure Clem Haskins is trying to do right now, you keep pulling out every alternative you've got, both offensively and defensively, and you keep trying. You cannot ever give up. You've got to keep pressing and keep pushing to try to get the ball. Lob pass to Lane. Missed the shot. Rebound Western Kentucky. They just let him have it in that position, but he couldn't get it to go down. Here comes Dildy of Western Kentucky. Lane right with him. Cross court to hit the rim. Intended for Tony Wilson, who was open, but he hit the bottom of the rim for it, and Alabama Birmingham picks it off. Here come the Blazers. Sloppy basketball here. Shot by Oliver Robinson is good. That's not sloppy. That's Oliver Robinson coming down. He got it from Marcus, and he stuck it in the hole. Blazers are playing excellent basketball. 14 for the talented 6'4 junior Oliver Robinson, whose 21st birthday is today. His Blazers lead 53 to 36. They're stymied right now. Western Kentucky is. UAB's got that zone defense so impacted inside. They can't get it in there where they want. They're trying to work it around the outside. Here's White. White hits it. White with his fifth point of the game. Western Kentucky scored only 13 points in the second half, and we've played just about midway. Marcus looks inside for Alabama Birmingham, but no one making an effort to post up inside. Hands it off to Morris, then takes it back. Marcus, very quick guard, 5'10. Penetrates, kicks it off. He's fouled. White took the punishment, but also got foul number four. Here's the replay. Here's Marcus making a good move down the middle. And that's when White moved into him. But he stood his ground and not moved. I think he may have been able to draw the charge. But as it was, he moved his feet to try to get in a better position for Marcus. And Marcus simply was able to take the foul. He'll go out and take it out of bounds. Western Kentucky getting a substitute into the game. They'll come with Brian Teeter. Number 22 in red, a 6'4", 175-pound freshman from Harrodsburg, Kentucky. He replaces Ellis. Robinson throws it into lane. UAB with a basketball. 10-30 left, 53-38 the score in favor of the Blazers. In their first NCAA appearance, bidding to move on to the second round to face the University of Kentucky. That could be an interesting rematch, Tom. I'm sure you saw that game in Lexington. In the finals of the Kentucky Invitational Tournament at Christmas time, UAB gave the Wildcats all they could handle. Dildy off to White. Hit one of those a moment ago. Can't get this one to go. Tapped by McCormick once, twice. White taps it no good. Had three shots at it. Couldn't get the basket. Here comes Marcus. Between the legs dribble. A little showtime there. Missed the shot. Rebound White of Western Kentucky. Gives it to Teeter. Teeter throws it right into the hands of UAB's lane. Just right to him. Here goes Robinson for the Blazers. Feeds it off to Marcus. Marcus thought about shooting. Now passes to Lane. Just runs from one side of the basket to the other and lays it in. And Craig Lane showing his strength there. 6'6", 210. He went up and just muscled it through. Western Kentucky will call a timeout. So with 9 minutes, 34 seconds remaining, timeout on the court. The score out of Abba Birmingham, 55. Western Kentucky, 38. The UAB mascot has had a lot to crow about tonight. I knew you'd like that one. 55-38 the score <laughs> with 9 minutes, 34 seconds remaining. I've been saving that all night. And it's 55-38. UAB is leading with 9.34 to go here in the second half. 
Here are the rebounds. Western Kentucky 26, Alabama Birmingham 23. That is very surprising. Here's the team shooting Alabama Birmingham 51.4 and obviously Western Kentucky 40.5. That's the reason they're down right now. That and the turnovers, they have committed a bushel full of turnovers. Tony Wilson, outside shot, no good. Rebound, little Marcus of Alabama Birmingham. And Marcus slows the pace a bit. Time an ally of the Blazers. Shot up and good by Leon Morris. First field goal for Morris. And the green and gold can do no wrong in the second half. They got everything going their way. 57, 38, longest lead of the game for the Blazers of UAB. Here's a foul. Underneath, jockeying for position. Morris is called for personal number two. Yeah, it was a battle between McCormick and Morris that time inside, and Morris is the one who got caught. Six fouls against UAB this half. On the next one, Western Kentucky will shoot the bonus. Right now, they need more than that. They trail 57-38. Less than nine minutes to play. Shot by Hatcher is no good. On the rebound, tapped out. And we're going to have a foul on Western Kentucky, I believe on McCormick. Yes, it is on Craig McCormick, his first foul. McCormick, averaging 14 points a game, uh, has been an all-Ohio Valley Conference performer for two straight years, scored 930 points in his career, led the Hilltoppers in scoring two straight campaigns, but he just has not been able to get anything going tonight. Has four points in the first half, and has just has been stymied, Larry. He has been part of the reason that uh, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers really have done nothing here. Uh, without him offensively in gear, they really can't get much done. Giles, double teamed by Western, gets rid of it to Marcus, just right around, it. Nice pass. pass to Lane, and it goes in, it'll count, he's fouled. Razzle Dazzle, give the credit to Glenn Marcus. I'll tell you, Craig Lane will get the basket, but this crowd knows who made that play. That was Sidney Marcus. I'm gonna tell you, he did a, Glenn Marcus did a super job. Here's the crossover, great pass. Lane will get the basket. Well, that excites you when you see a great pass like that, and Marcus handled it well. He just went right by the defensive man and then kicked it off to Lane, who now will try to convert the three-point trip. And he got it. Craig Lane has scored 13 points in the contest. Blazers have their longest, 60 to 38. Out of bounds. It'll go to Alabama Birmingham. A route here in Tuscaloosa. What most observers consider to be a close game coming in. Western Kentucky 21 and 7, UAB 21 and 8. I think I'm, both, I'm a little surprised too. I thought it'd be a much closer game than what it has been. Here's a foul again on Western Kentucky. Whistled against Kevin Gildy, his third. Eight minutes, 17 seconds now remaining. And if this holds up, UAB will go into the game Sunday against Kentucky, and they'll go in with a lot of momentum. Glenn Marcus, who's been the star of the game so far at the free throw line for the Blazers. He's two of three at the stripe tonight. That's his free throw percentage. He's done a little bit of everything for UAB tonight. He's passed the ball well. He's played good defense. He's even get, gotten in on a couple of rebounds. Here he is at the free throw line trying to add to his point total. And he does. Now has 16 points in the game. Came in tonight averaging only seven. That's the score. Alabama Birmingham firmly in command. They led the entire way. Shot by McCormick. Finally got one. First points in the second half. Six for the game. 6 10, Craig McCormick. Pressure defense from Western Kentucky. It shouldn't bother Marcus with his great quickness and doesn't. That's a great weapon to have against the press. A guy as quick as Marcus and as good a ball handler. Here's a steal by Western Kentucky. Saved inbounds to Reese. Reese goes one on two to the basket. Took off a little too soon, missed it, but gets it on the follow. You know, this is the only way Western Kentucky's gonna get back in this basketball game is if it gets sloppy and it gets out of control. And I know Gene Bartow doesn't want his Blazers to do that. 20-point lead for the Blazers, and they have the basketball with 7.28 on the clock. This is where you see the maturity of a good, strong basketball team. The good clubs won't allow anything to happen. Here's a steal by Western. Beautiful steal by Reese. He scores. Two in a row on the breakaway for Mike Reese, trying to put a little life into the Western attack. 
Chris Barto would like for his Blazers to kind of get reorganized, get set, keep running your stuff. Even though you got a 20-point lead, don't let up because that's what the good clubs are made of. When you got them down, you put them away. Chris Giles does his part. That's his 12 points. 64-44, 20-point balls for the Blazers at UAB. And it looks like the Hilltoppers are going to get some fresh uh, blood in there. They've got to have some people who are not tired. McCormick again. McCormick unchallenged gets his eighth point. Got the ball to him in perfect position. They just let him have it up by 20, now by 18. Marcus trickling the offense again for the Blazers. Giles hit one from the other side a moment ago, way short on that one. Hatcher might have gotten a piece of it. Lane with a follow, no good, tapped out. Giles will try it again, but before he can get the pass away, it's knocked out of his hand. Saved by Morris, his shot no good. McCormick with a rebound, lost it off his knee, out of bounds. Everything going wrong for the Hillsoffers. McCormick had it, bounced it off his knee, out of bounds. When things are going bad for you, they go all the way bad. That time they had an opportunity to get three different rebounds, and each time the ball either bounced over their hand, or they had it and had someone swipe it away. That time McCormick had to go off of his knee. Clem Haskins has got to be awfully frustrated. Frustrating night for Clem Haskins. Clem the Gem, they call him in his playing days, one of the great players. And his young staff, the staff averages only 25 years of age. They'll be back. Robinson driving for the basket, draws the foul. He commits the foul. Offensive foul on Oliver Robinson. Fourth, person. We'll shoot one and one on the western end. It's possible that Western Kentucky playing a little flat, never seemed to get into the game tonight. Still with 6.02 remaining, but an uphill battle. As you see, a replay of the charging foul against Robinson. It's possible they were looking past UAB to win to uh, University of Kentucky in a possible matchup on Sunday against all the best efforts of Clem Haskins to guard against it. A lot of the fans thought that. Western Kentucky and University of Kentucky have played only once in history. That was 10 years ago, almost to the day, in Western Kentucky. Blew Kentucky out in an NCAA game, the only meeting between the two. Perhaps that can account in part for the poor showing by the Hilltoppers tonight. 16 points now for Tony Wilson after the two free throws. 64-48, the UAB lead with 5.50 on the clock. Spear fakes McCormick, then shoots it. No good. There's the follow by Morris. Perfect timing on the tap in long beyond Morris. UAB's played a super basketball game. They just followed up a missed shot. They cannot do anything wrong tonight. McCormick. No basket. Traveling call against Craig McCormick. And a Western turnover. White in for the Hilltoppers. He replaces Wilson. That's Clem Haskins. Trying desperately to get something going. The key to this, the key to this game, obviously, is the figures right there. Western Kentucky with 19 turnovers, UAB with 11. Western Kentucky cannot hope to win the basketball game committing that that number of turnovers. Western Kentucky dug an early hole for itself. They committed 10 turnovers in about the first eight or nine minutes of the basketball game, and they have never been in it since then. McCormick made the steal, then threw it away. Rains it pours. You can't get anything to go your way. Robinson. Oliver Robinson now with 16 points. That's one above his average. 20 point lead again for the Blazers. Nice move to the basket by White. It counts. He's fouled. That's a power move to the hoop. And the foul was on Donnie Spear. It was an excellent move that time by Percy White. He took it gold inside. Spear didn't have good position. Coach White made the move. Here's the body right there. It was a good call. And so Spear has fouled out of the game. Five personal fouls on Donnie Spear. Goes to the sideline with four points to his credit and is replaced by Norman Ankrum. Ankrum playing with four fouls. Gene Bartow, hands on hips, takes a seat on the UAB bench. White trying for the three-point trip. One for two at the free throw line tonight. Missed it, rebound Western, however. White saves it. He'll go back up with it. Off the glass, no good. Followed by a Reese came out. Rebound this time, Giles of UAB. Western had three or four chances at it. Here comes Morris against McCormick. He'll hold up. Back out to Giles. Probably a good opportunity here for the Blazers to sit on the basketball. They're gonna run some clock. 
Nicholas spreading his way through traffic. No basket. It won't count. He was fouled before he got his shot off. Foul is on Kenny Ellis of Western Kentucky. His fourth. There it is again. And just like I said, they're going to run some clock. What do they do? They take it to the basket. That was a good move. He found an opening, and that's what he should have done. He should take it. 18-point lead for the Blazers with Nicholas trying to add to it. We'll get Tony Wilson back into the Western lineup before Nicholas can get his free throw off. Jonah Nicholas, 6'3", junior, from Brooklyn, New York. Played junior college ball at Mesa Junior College. San Diego, California. He's played in every game for the Blazers this year. I know it's a disappointing performance for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky and all of their fans, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't get disheartened about this club because they haven't given up. They got down by 23 and could have just pulled with their tent and gone home, but they haven't. They've stayed with it and they continue to play against this University of Alabama Birmingham team, an excellent basketball team who it looks like is going to advance to play Kentucky. Leon Morris got a hand as he checked out of the game as Nicholas hits the free throw again. With four minutes, 32 seconds remaining, we have a timeout on the court. The score, Alabama, Birmingham, 70, Western Kentucky, 50. Kentucky with the ball. Right into the hands of UAB. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama, Birmingham, and Western Kentucky, it's been all UAB, the Blazers of Alabama, Birmingham building a big lead in the first half and just coasting from then on in. They were up 39-25 in intermission. Now with three minutes, 56 seconds remaining in the basketball game, the Blazers up by 20. Western Kentucky with the basketball taken completely out of their offense by the UAB defense in the first half, and it's never been close. Here's the shot underneath. No, intended pass for Giles. Too hard from Oliver Robinson out of bounds. UAB turnover. Gene Bartow a little bit upset with the way his club's playing right now. He'd like for them to stay under control because that's the sign, the maturity of a good basketball team. When you've got a lead like this, don't play around with it. Just keep running your stuff. Stay with your knitting. That's what he wants them to do. He doesn't want those turnovers. He doesn't want it to be a sloppy basketball game. That's Gene Bartow, and he should know because he's been to the Final Four on two occasions. Gene Bartow making his fourth trip to the NCAA tournament tonight. It's the first for UAB, but the fourth for Coach Bartow. One of only two active coaches to take two different teams to the Final Four. That's Tony Wilson, Alabama, Birmingham, giving up a shot to Wilson, and he converted. Meanwhile, Nicholas comes right back on the other end and gets an easy two off the transition. Good move by UAB. They looked up and saw the opening, took advantage of it. Robinson got a hand on it, knocked it out of bounds. Gene Bartow, National Coach of the Year in 1969-70. That's when he took Memphis State to the Final Four. He's a Sunbelt Coach of the Year this season. 20-point lead for the Blazers of UAB. Wide open inside. Harbor faked when he should have gone up to the basket. By the time he faked, the defense of UAB had recovered. Lane committed the foul. First foul of the game on Craig Lane. Lane and Giles were having a discussion about whose responsibility it was inside to cover Carver. Lane felt like it was Carver. On the other side, it was Reed and Giles' fault. So Lane goes out of the basketball game. Coach Bartow's going to have a discussion with him about whose responsibility. Coach Bartow obviously thought it was Lane's fault. He's replaced by Leon Morris. Carver at the free throw line for Western Kentucky. Had a field goal in the first half. He's a 6'6 freshman. Clifty, Kentucky, his hometown. Perfect on that free throw. Only averaging two a game. He'll have another. That's his free throw percentage. Not a very good free throw shooter, as you see. But got both of them. Four points in the game now for Carver. Pressure defense from Western Kentucky. They hadn't had much success with it. 74-56 the count. Here's a breakaway. Marcus, he got it. Good handling that time. Oliver Robinson in the corner, beat the double team, got the pass outside, and Marcus ended up with the basket on the other end. Reese. Then Marcus with 18 points, and Reese just hitting for his 11th for Western Kentucky. Foul on Mike Reese, his fourth. Clock now shows two minutes, 45 seconds, a 76-58 count for UAB. Only in their third year of basketball. We don't want to drive any nails into the coffin of Western Kentucky, but it could be a real struggle for them to get out right now. They're down by 18 with 2.45 to go, so it looks like UAB is going to advance to play against Kentucky on Sunday. In the other Mid-Eastern mid -Eastern games, uh, we've got an interesting matchup. Maryland playing Indiana. I think that's going to be an outstanding game as we see Marcus make his free throw. 
You've got other games. Boston College, who won tonight in the first game here, will play Wake Forest. We've got St. Joseph's against DePaul. Mideast awfully strong this year, Tom. It is indeed, and you have to include UAB up. They're showing tonight as one of the better teams in the Mideast region. And Kentucky will have to contend with Glenn Marcus, certainly on Sunday. Marcus with 20 points tonight. He's done an outstanding job. There's a timeout by Western as the shot is put up and in by Brian Teeter. First basket for Brian Teeter. Teeter is a 6'4 freshman from Harrodburg, Kentucky. 2.35 remaining as Western takes the timeout. They trail by 18, 78 to 60. UAB, regular season tri champion in the Sun Belt Conference with a record of 21 and 8 overall. They advanced in the Sun Belt Conference tournament, finally losing by just one to Virginia Commonwealth. Sun Belt surprising a lot of people with its strength. They had a team with an excellent record, South Alabama, didn't even get into the NCAA tournament. They have two excellent teams, obviously, University of Alabama, Birmingham, and Virginia Commonwealth. Virginia Commonwealth won earlier tonight against Long Island University. But VCU and UAB both have advanced here in the first rounds of the NCAA tournament, and it lends a lot of credence and support to this outstanding turn this tournament and to the good conference, the Sun Belt Conference, who has a, it's a relatively new conference. It started in 1976. Its commissioner is Vic Bubas. They come on, and they've done a good job. They've got excellent basketball coaches, as evidenced by the fact that the UAB has played so well here tonight. Western Kentucky, Ohio Valley Conference champions, 21-7 and seven overall coming in. The 25th 20 win season for the Hilltoppers with that great basketball tradition making their 11th NCAA appearance. One of the reasons they're down by so many the shooting percentages 53.1 for UAB 45 1 for Western Kentucky. Well the uh, Blazer mascot taking a little seat. One thing about this Western team it's a young team only one senior in the starting lineup and they'll be back next season. They trail by 18 with the clock ticking away and UAB will put it in the deep freeze. Probably a pretty good move right here. Why not? Take the time, run your stall offense. If you get an opening, take it. Looks like they're not going to take the opening. Good chance to work on that stalling offense as well. You can never tell when you need it down the stretch in an NCAA tournament. At practice yesterday here on this floor in Tuscaloosa, Coach Gene Bartow told him only three more weeks. So he is intent on perhaps reaching the Final Four in Philadelphia. Foul is committed by Western Kentucky against Brian Teeter. Glenn Marcus again at the free throw stripe for UAB. Perfect in four attempts in the second half. He has missed only one in the game. The description we've been given of Glenn Marcus is that he is the heart and soul of this team. He plays excellent defense as evidenced by the fact that he really took him out of in the first half. But he's gotten 19 points tonight too. He really if you're going to pass out MVPs tonight and a lot of flowers you got to give them to Glenn Marcus. He's played a super game. 20 point lead for the Blazers. Just over two minutes remaining. Carver puts it off the front of the rim good. Gary Carver. Six points now for Western Kentucky. Now less than two minutes to play and a foul on Western's Carver. First of the game. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the tournament manager here at the University of Alabama, Charles J. Thornton, and the tournament media coordinator, Jack Perry. Also, of course, the athletic director, John Oldham of Western Kentucky University, former head basketball coach of the Hilltoppers, as well as the current head coach, Clem Haskins, and his staff, the sports information director at Western Kentucky, Paul Just. And, of course, the University of Alabama in Birmingham, athletic director and head basketball coach, Gene Bartow, and his staff, and their SID, Pete Derzis. Thanks for their cooperation as Nicholas cans the free throw. If he hits here, he can make it. Another 20-point lead. Jonah Nicholas puts it down. Has 11 points in the game off the bench. 82-62, Western Kentucky with the ball. Shot up, no good. While Alex Mosley in the game missed it for Western Kentucky and very quickly a foul against Western. Carvalho is on. Gary Carver, his second. Mosley making his first appearance for Western is a 6'10", 230-pound junior from Clinton, Michigan. And here is the substitution for UAB. They get Scott Simchick into the game, 6'2", 170-pound sophomore from Simi Valley, California. And the man who went out, Glenn Marcus, on, his, on the screen right there. Everyone in this place giving him a nice ovation. He played an outstanding basketball game tonight. 
for my money, the star of the game, especially in the second half when he was just unstoppable. Free throw is missed by Llewellyn Foster of UAB, who's also come into the game. And in the meantime, on the other end, jump shot by Brian Teeter. Teeter with the outside shooting shot. Four points in the game now, all on the outside for Teeter. Nicholas gets away from the Western defense, but finally is fouled. Going for the steal and committing the personal foul was Western Kentucky's Kenny Ellis. And by my count, that's five on Ellis. Yes, it is. Kenny Ellis has fouled out with two points to his credit. 6'4", Jr. He'll be back next year for the Hilltoppers. Another substitution for Alabama-Birmingham. Bill McCammon comes in. He's a 6'4", 180-pound senior from Palm Springs, California. As Morris goes out. Also, Western Kentucky, a... Substitution, Scott Blankenship, 6'3", 175-pound sophomore, Nicholasville, Kentucky. In a little more than 30 hours, Tom, we've eliminated the NCAA field from 48 to 24 teams. By Sunday, we'll have it down to 16 in the March to Philadelphia. Who knows, we may have one from down here in Tuscaloosa playing in Philly at the end of March. Boston College defeating Ball State by 3, 93 to 90 in the first game. UAB running away from Western Kentucky in the second game. Meanwhile, Jonah Nicholas of UAB has hit eight free throws in a row, make it nine. A minute, 27 seconds remaining, 84-64, 20-point lead for the Blazers. First NCAA appearance, an impressive one for UAB. Outside shot, no good. Tapped up once, twice, no good. Finally claimed by Nicholas of Alabama-Birmingham. Teeter right with him in backcourt. Nicholas behind the back dribble, now crosses the timeline. Passes in front court. McCammon, his shot, no good from way outside. Substitutes trying to get the name in the official NCAA record book. An even minute left to play. Baseline drive and a shot up. A short jumper is good by Western Kentucky Scott Blankenship. Blankenship for two. Good opportunity for these youngsters to come in and play. They probably won't have another chance. Well, we know they won't this year for Western Kentucky. UAB obviously going on and playing again Sunday. They'll play the University of Kentucky. And for Alabama Birmingham, and they will come in with Tim Richards. Tim Richards is 6'6", 190-pound senior from Los Angeles, California, and with Murray Bartow. Murray Bartow, 5'10", 155-pound freshman from Birmingham. Wonder who he belongs to. The son of head coach Gene Bartow. Simchick at the free throw line for the Blazers. Good. Alabama Birmingham's done a good job at the line tonight. Only a 67% free throw shooter team on the average for the season. They've missed only one, two, three, four, five free throws in the game. And Senate made the second one. 86-66, 20 point lead. Teeter shoots outside and hits for Western Kentucky. Teeter has uh, six points in the closing stages of the game. This is Murray Bartow handling the basketball, passing off to Simchick. He'll take it from outside, almost got it. Hatcher with a rebound, Western Kentucky. 27 seconds remaining. Blankenship leads it over to Carver. Almost a steal by Foster, but out of bounds, it'll go back to Western Kentucky. Llewellyn Foster almost had it. 19 ticks left on the clock. Alabama Birmingham will advance to the second round to play the University of Kentucky. There's a collision at midcourt. Richards tried to show us his behind the back dribble. Wasn't too nifty on it, but uh, had the collision and got the favor of the referee. The foul called on Teeter. And it looks like Richards will go to the line. He'll have a one and one, an opportunity to get his name also in the record. But you know, Tom, it's nice that these guys get in and have the opportunity to play because all year long, they sit on the end of that bench. They contribute as much as the first team players. They put in as much time as the first team players do in practice. They oftentimes are the dummy team or the team that runs the offenses and defenses of the other club. And lots of times they don't get the notoriety that they deserve. You know, I often, I've heard this said to me oftentimes that you're only as good a team as the last man on your bench. And oftentimes that's really true. Richards puts down two free throws. 88-68 now, again a 20 point bulge. Nice pass by Blankenship, but he is mishandled underneath. Out of bounds and go back to Western Kentucky. Mosley couldn't quite find the handle on it as Blankenship fired a pass underneath. Seven seconds left. Alabama Birmingham with the basketball. Run out basket. They throw it to Foster. Foster gets the stuff and also draws the foul. 
And that's on Mosley. Alex Mosley committed the foul. That was the coup de Brown. The Alabama Birmingham fans with a cheer. It's been that kind of night for them. Here it is again. Length of the court pass all the way down. He got the good stuff right there. And there's the foul. And Foster will try to convert a three-point trip. No good on the floor. Claimed by Simchek of Alabama Birmingham, and he is fouled. Now two seconds left. We'll have two shots for Simchik at the free throw line. The executive producer of tonight's game has been Dennis Kreider of NCAA Productions. Our producer director, Lou Renoni. ESPN producer, Kent Samuel. Technical director, Patrick Hubbard. Simchik will have one more. Only two seconds remaining. And Alabama Birmingham will advance to the second round. Simchik hits the second one. Clock will start as soon as it's touched inbounds. Right there. One second, and there's the... Hey, oh my that God. went in by McCavin. Yes, it'll count. And when you're hot, you're hot, right? That's it. Coach Gene Bartow congratulating the members of the Western Kentucky staff as McCammon put an exclamation point on to the end of a fine Alabama-Birmingham win tonight. The Blazers of UAB win their 22nd game of the season. They'll move on into the second round of the NCAA Mideast Regional. They'll play the University of Kentucky on Sunday afternoon. We'll be back with some final comments in just a moment. Final score was Alabama-Birmingham 93, Western Kentucky 68. From Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Tom Hammond, Larry Conley. We've seen Alabama Birmingham get off to a big early lead and widen that lead in the second half to win it by a final count of 93 to 68. It was uh, Glenn Marcus, the little guy, leading the way for the Blazers with 20 points and Western led in scoring by Tony Wilson with 18. An impressive performance by UAB. And I think a buoyed support. I mean, it really will lift this club up to play the University of Kentucky coming in here on Sunday, 1 o'clock game. We look for a great game between those two teams, Tom. So the winners in the Mideast at Tuscaloosa tonight, Boston College by three over Boston. Ball State 93 to 90 and UAB a winner over Western Kentucky 93 68. So for Larry Conley this is Tom Hammond saying so long from Tuscaloosa Alabama final score again Alabama Birmingham 93 Western Kentucky 68. This is.